Hello survivors and welcome to another Walking Dead Road to Survival video and in this video we're going to be looking at the Battle Pass Edition 4 to see what is to come this time around. The quick intro says you've been dying to know and we're happy to share everything that is coming your way in our new Battle Pass 4. The dates are as follows, it starts on the 7th of December at 12pm Pacific Time and it ends on the 25th of January 2021 at 12pm Pacific Time. The Royal Coin Shop ends three days later at 12pm Pacific Time on the 28th of January and it is worth noting that if you do not spend all of your Royal Coins, any leftovers will be turned into Supply Depot tokens. This has been the same way it's been in all the previous seasons, so make sure you spend all those coins. We'll take a look at the overview just to see if it's going to be structured the same as previous seasons. And it does say weekly and season challenges are going to be in the Battle Pass 4. There will be two types of Battle Pass 4 challenges. Weekly challenges will last for one week and season challenges are meant to be tackled during the entire duration of the Battle Pass. Weekly challenges will be include objective bases on combat, tournament participation and resource collection or use, while season long objectives will consist of leveling up fighters and mods, crafting weapons and login challenges. This is exactly the same as what we had in the third edition of the battle pass, so no change here. Earn battle pass points and spend royal coins. You collect battle pass points through weekly and seasonal challenges to progress through tiers in the battle pass reward missions. The tiers will award you special rewards and royal coins to spend in Battle Pass Shop. It also does reconfirm at the bottom, royal coins will expire at the end of the event, so be sure to spend them all in the Battle Pass Shop before the end. It does also give a sneak peek on the tier 30 weapon. It says the main reward for this season is the perfect companion for your Christmas governor, the gift wrapped pistol. It does also note that the gift wrapped pistol will have a regular pistol skin for the first few days of the event. This will have no effect on its performance and the new gift wrapped skin we applied a few days later. The elves needed extra days to wrap it, so we apologize for the inconvenience. Well, it is quite a bit before Christmas, so I guess that's no big deal. It does look interesting though. If this is legitimately how it's gonna look in someone's hands, <laughs> that is kind of crazy. That is kind of crazy. It does also list the four characters that are going to be in this season's Battle Pass. It says, we're excited to announce our Season 4 Battle Pass characters. S-Class Michonne, S-Class Beta, S-Class May, and S-Class Andrea. Andrea is the more expensive character that is going to be in the Battle Pass Grey Market. And she is going to be the character that's going to take Marcus's slot. And she's going to cost 10,000 Royal Coins to be able to get her 4,000 cards. There's also a walk over the, how the battle pass works. We have seen this in previous seasons, so I'm not going to read through it. But if you want to, you can pause at any moment and just read through these parts if you're new to the battle pass. But it basically is going to work the same as previous seasons. And you're going to be able to work your way through the battle pass and get yourselves 11,600 Royal Battle Pass coins. As you can see here, with 11,600 total Royal coins... You will be able to buy the following up to 4,000 of S Class Andrea cards, up to a full S Class of Beta May or Michonne, with two times five star Beta May Michonne or 6,000 of their cards. At a guess here, I would probably say May would be the more expensive of the three characters, and that's just because she is the most recently released. It does say choose your rewards wisely. Last season I did do an intro to the Battle Pass once it was fully released in terms of which characters I thought were the worthwhile ones going for. I'll do the same this season around, just give my opinions, maybe showing some gameplay of each one just to show you what they have to offer. It finishes off by saying the contents of the store will be available throughout the duration of the Battle Pass. We want to ensure that the Battle Pass provides a positive experience to you. So we'll be looking closely at your feedback throughout to help improve the event moving forward. It does also list all the rewards that are going to be in the Battle Pass, the full contents of Battle Pass 4. On the right hand side is the Royal Tier which you can access by buying the Battle Pass Key, which will probably be the same price it has been for the last three seasons. They haven't increased the price as much as some people like to think they're going to increase it every single season. And on the left hand side you get these rewards for free. You can see level 6 you're going to be able to get 6 star governor I think that's going to be. It could be the 5 star version, we'll have to wait until it's fully live in game. But you can see S class cards. We're going to wait for the S-Class cards to go live as well to see what they're going to bring. You've got Harper in here on the left-hand side. And I believe there's going to be another character. It's going to be Mia. 
And then at level 26, there should be S-Class characters as there has been in the last couple of seasons. There we go. It's going to be S-Class Raulito as the picture, but you do get to choose the five-star ascendable version of an S-Class character. In the picture this time around, it is Raulito, and that would be a switch up from what we have had for the last two seasons. So hopefully four fresh new characters are going to be here at level 26. If I scroll down more, you'll see the pistol at level 30, and you can see all those crates and and mods and and cards on the right hand side in the, in the meantime and like you can see it is a five star weapon that is confirmed and uh, we will not have the stats in this video but what we had last time round was a, a live reveal on my live stream and that was a lot of fun so i'm looking forward to that again where we get to basically see the battle pass go live we go through all the missions we'll see what characters are at level 26 and we'll also check out the weapon and check out the stats it did say it would work well with governor so it could be an offensive weapon, but we'll have to wait and see. Now, there are 10 bonus missions as well, the extra tiers. And this is just for extra little bits and pieces. There's not going to be any royal coins in here to spend in the grain market. But you are going to get a lot of armory items, basically. You can see all these crates. You're going to get a lot of cards as well. You get 400 cards for hitting for tier 40. And again, we'll see what the cards are going to be available on my live stream once it goes live. But you can see how many armory tokens you can get. On the left hand side pretty much every tier armory tokens now it does list the contents of each of the crates as it has in the previous seasons but it's exactly the same as what we've seen before and there is this beautiful battle pass box five this is the one 10,000 armory tokens in there i think we get at least five of these i'm not not 100 sure it should list how many we actually get of these because i'm i'm fairly certain we get like 30 battle pass one crates and it is worth noting since we can now upgrade our town the crates are one of the few ways you can go over your max amount of food and over your max amount of materials. So let's say you needed to have 3.5 million materials to be able to upgrade your town hall, but your storage can only hold up to 3 million. If you had max materials and you open two of these crates, you would then have 3.5 million. You can hold excess over your max when you open crates, only crates. When you sell items, it doesn't work that way. So do save the battle pass crates to open to go over the top on your materials and then upgrade things like your town hall, which is going to take excessive amounts of materials to upgrade. So that's it for battle pass four. And as you can see in the picture above, we've got Michonne, Andrea, May, and Beta, the four characters that are going to feature in this time around. And like I said, I will do a preview of these characters just to show you what they have to offer and which ones I think are worth picking up. But they're all attack team characters. That is very something that stands out massively is they are all offensive. Whereas last season we did get two attacking and two defensive. I kind of like that balance. We're going to go all out attack in the next battle pass. And there are definitely some interesting characters here. But my preview will probably come on the Tuesday or the Wednesday. So stay tuned for that one. But hopefully I'll see you on my live stream for the live reveal of what is to come in the battle pass with the level 26 rewards and the weapon. I'm really looking forward to that. That is uh, just a fun looking weapon. It does look great. That is going to be the end of my video now though, guys. I want to thank you very much for tuning in. And as always, keep on surviving, guys. Keep on surviving.